Yeah, it's not pretty, um, but it's gonna work. So, I made the front page. Fasan's passion for Corvairs lead to YouTube success. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of working on this project that I still have not come up with a name. Um, it's going to be a shorter episode, kind of different. But before we even get to that, let's just let's just take a glance at the paper here. So, um, backstory: I ran into uh, my middle school teacher the other day, and I hadn't seen him for years. And so we were catching up and everything. And so I told him that I, I'm doing YouTube stuff now, internet stuff. And he thought that was really cool. So he went home, checked it out, and then he shared my YouTube page to his Facebook. And a, it was funny because, like, a bunch of my other teachers from middle school and high school also saw that and thought it was pretty cool. Well, anyway, a newspaper reporter for my local paper is friends with him, saw that, thought it was super cool, and uh, contacted me and wanted to do a story on me. And so, yeah. Um... Yeah, I just told him, basically, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get some nice pictures and put it up on the screen if you guys want to read this. But basically, I, uh, yep, I just told him about the history of both cars, how this one came to be, what's unique about this one with the S10, and how this one here, how that's unique. I explained to him about, like, Corvairs, how their rear engine, um, I think here he talks about how this one's still original, and this one no longer has the engine. And then we flip the page over, and we got more story. Corvairs. I bet you Corvairs. Corvairs is the first time in my paper's history that uh, Corvairs have probably ever been mentioned. Um, so a whole article here, and it goes all the way down. And then this picture here was taken in, I think, 2017. Uh, and um, it was when I was grinding the original front end of this car here. Um, so that picture's kind of old, but, you know, that's totally okay. So, yeah, just this, like, entire front and back page article. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so this episode is probably going to be shorter because we're just finishing up my exhaust because it's really loud and uh, it's not finished because the exhaust dumps right there. So, yeah, we need to build a custom exhaust for this. It's going to be pretty simple and uh, let me show you why. Okay, so few problems right off the bat. It's my breath. It's cold in here. A um, few problems. How do I even explain this? One, the cutout is way too low, um, obviously. And so I need to, like, rotate it. However, it's hard to fit in here because the frame rail is here. And then we got a drive shaft there. So finding placement for that is a little difficult. Also, because of how close it is to the muffler. So what I think I might do is I welded the connection there right but it's just clamped on there so i might undo that clamp get a longer piece of metal slide it out like move this over so the the dump can rotate and then maybe have it bypass like go around i think we're just gonna have a like basically come here i might have to loop it back a little bit and have it exit here because i want to have dual pipes here one for the exhaust with the muffler and then one for the cutout because uh, I think that'd look cool. My only fear is, is that with this giant hole here that leads to the inside, it's just going to suck fumes back in. Um, but I will be fixing this in the future. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt the muffler, slide it off, and get a bunch of measurements. And then I'm going to run into town, the next town over with all the auto parts stores. And then we're going to buy like a ton of pipe to build um, an exhaust system. 
Okay, so that was about uh, $140 worth of bends, hangers, and straight pieces. Um, it's a lot. I think I grabbed, I grabbed like an extra bar or pipe or two um, just in case. I'm gonna try not to use it all and try to return some of it to recuperate my money. Um, and then uh, the video that I took in there, uh, it looks funny, but I'll explain it once I get home. I think what we'll do first is we'll build the muffled version um, cause then we can bend the pipe around it however we need it to go. So let's get some measurements, cut that off and uh, start mocking some stuff up. This, like that, except I kinda, kinda wanna have a big pipe on the end of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, not that not that big, but you You get what I'm saying. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Why is there water coming out of that? That's probably not good. Okay. So I guess that could work. We'll just rotate the muffler and then we'll have to bend that pipe a little more. Dang, I really need a bandsaw. Okay. So, I've concluded that I'm not going to use um, one of these like 45 degree bends instead I'm gonna take this one here put it in my pipe bender and try to make my own bend my only fear is is the pipe collapsing like it will kind of collapse in on itself um, so let's hope that doesn't happen so let's put it in the bender and see what happens sorry starting to hmm this is not gonna work the way I want it to Oh yeah, look at that. That is a fail. What do you think? Do you think I can return this pipe? Probably not. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, so this is a 45 degree elbow or bend. I need it to be more closer to like a 90 or maybe even an 80 degree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in between the ribs there, uh, which will remove metal and then I'm gonna squeeze it together and re-weld it together. Um, and that will give me a, um, more of a bend that I need. up got that welded up that looks so bad i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm uh not super happy with that but whatever um and then the pipe is there um i wish i would have bent it at a little more of an angle because if i just fit this on right look how one close that is to the tire and two i still need to snake the cutout exhaust along here as well so in reality this needs to like be like here, and then the other one can be here. Um, I don't think having it that close to the tires will really be an issue. Um, I hope not. So, yeah, I'm going to, even though this one kinda got messed up, I think I might try bending it again. And if the tip stays okay, you know, like cut off at the end here, that'll give it a nice round look, but then I can have a curve right 
a curve there. I would like to have them slightly angled back. I'll see what I can do, but yeah, it's just we're working with like really tight proximity because I had to get around part of the shackle here, or not the shackle, but the leaf spring area here. Um, so there's that. So now that that is all installed, we can start working on the uh, cutout portion. We got that there. And then it is right there, right at the end of the muffler. So we're gonna take another 45, and that, in theory, can technically go right there of sorts. However, it would be nice if it could be bent over a little more. All right, I think I figured it out. Uh, so I rebent this pipe. It doesn't look good. Um, turns out that you're not supposed to bend exhaust pipe on a pipe bender. Who knew? Not me. Anyway. Uh, so then we're going to take this 45, cut it again, and make it more of a 90. And then this goes over there. And we'll kind of do, do a little something like that. You see what I'm saying? I hope you see what I'm saying. This is not going the way I thought it was going to. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Um, I've decided I'm going to actually attempt to weld the stainless steel to the steel. Um, it will work, but it's just not going to look very pretty. Um, so, you know, fight me in the comments. Um, so there's that. And then we got the uh, homemade 90. You can see my marks need to be lined up there. And then I need to weld all of this. Um, yeah, it's not pretty, um, but it's going to work. Um, so, yep, I'm out of gas, unfortunately. Uh, not enough to keep welding. Um, and I have to basically take the entire exhaust system off. I actually got it almost to where I want it. Again, this is going to get cut down. These are, and I'm going to get some chrome tips. Uh, I'm going to return uh, this stuff in here. I had some paint, some, like, high-temperature paint. Yeah, well, actually, it's clear coat because I was just going to use leave these. But then I was like, I don't know, maybe spice it up a little bit with some chrome. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so nothing's really tacked in. This is just kind of dangling there because I need to take off the pipe here and bend it over. Um, so we'll do that. And then uh, I'm still not sure what to do about this because you can see how it bends around. Um, I'm not happy with this, this pipe here because of how it looks. But, um, I should be good. It's not like, I should be good in the back here for the lowering. And, um, way in the future, I'm, uh, planning on getting rid of the whole solid axle with the leaf spring setup. Uh, I want to go full independent. Um, so I won't need leaf springs. But other than that, it looks pretty good. And when you look back here, don't really see much, like, hanging down. Um, and that's another thing. I got a bunch of these hangers that I'm going to have to somehow incorporate. Because um, that's a lot of weight on one pipe right there. So, uh, going to call it for the night. Get up bright and early when the welding shop opens. And uh, return some stuff and get some more gas. Okay, it's the next day. Got a new welding tank already hooked up. Um, I returned some of the uh, pipe that I didn't use. And um, I got some chrome tips because it is going to look so cool once I get everything set up. I think, though, because um, this pipe has a slight bend, I think I might be able to kind of, like, manipulate it. See how, if I put it on straight, it's like that. But if I bend it, then it follows the contour of this pipe. So I think we'll get it to where I want it. The pipes are parallel, which is what we need. See that? Then we'll just cut it down, get rid of that ugliness there, and um, then we'll attach those. And then I got some uh, paint, some high temperature paint that will quick paint everything, and then um, figure out something with the hangers, and hopefully be done. Uh, I did mock it up 
earlier, and let's just, I just want to say, this, come it, oh my god, it looks so cool. Wait till you guys see it, you're going to love it. Okay, you guys ready? Oh my god, that looks so cool. Okay, maybe, maybe sticks out a little far, but that's okay. That is... Okay, you can't really pick it up because, like, my cement, the contrast between the cement and the car, you can't really pick up on the pipes. But, man, do they look good. They, uh, they're not quite there yet. The one pipe here needs to be bent up just a little bit. But, oh, man, that looks so cool. However, we're not out of the woods yet. Um, because I have these hangers because I have the jack supporting the weight of everything. So... I have a hook there. Hold on, let me get it in light. You see the the hook there, right? Well, that hooks around that. So I'm going to basically hook that in. And then this reaches all the way up to back here. So I'll move my seat forward get the measurement drill a hole through here because i won't be able to get a drill underneath there and then we can bolt that in and then i'll just have to put a hanger at the end here as well oh my gosh okay all right i'm gonna i'm gonna just admit i will admit they do stick out a little far okay but i kind of like that i don't want them too inward because i want people to see them but I don't know. If anything, I think it's this one. I would probably just back it up to make the tip here flush with this tip, you know. But I don't know. I think uh, I'm going to leave them. And then we put a bolt in there. And then you uh, crawl underneath and you see the hanger and the bolt. And now, oh, the jack isn't even supporting it. You see that? <laughs> It's kind of funny because depending on what's opened or closed, only exhaust comes out of one of the pipes. But um, here is some revving action for you. Hopefully I don't make my neighbors too upset, but this is with the dump closed. <laughs> that the video is over it looks so much better with it on the ground i will not lie i do think maybe this one needs to go in a little bit i'm not going to fix it right now though because the car is on the ground and I, I just don't want to so yeah other than that that's how you make a really crappy exhaust for your uh chevy corvair on top of an s10 frame um it actually went pretty good um i know i know my welder is garbage. Uh, it doesn't necessarily give me an excuse to do bad welding, but like, the, it just won't weld. So the welds look like garbage. Um, one thing that I, I don't know if I showed this off. Um, this is all videos that I have planned um, for future content. You can pause it and kind of um, read it if you want to. Um, but these are videos that I have planned and things that need to get done before I can call it finished stage one at least finished uh, so we can actually cross out exhaust um yeah so these are just some future videos that you can definitely look out for um i think the next one i'm going to do is going to be the tilt column just because you hear me complain about it every time i have to get in there um so i think my dad and i are going to go to a junkyard this weekend and that will probably be the 
um, next video, but uh, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. So that's just some future ideas we have planned. Um, but with that being said, we're going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I haven't edited it yet. Um, so hopefully it's like kind of a shorter video. I said it wasn't going to be a very long video. I think that's not going to, I think that's a lie. I think it's going to be a long video. Um, but yeah, make sure you like the video, comment on it, subscribe, do all that. And, um, yup. Just, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> See you in the next one.